Hello you guys and welcome back to a Cartoon Conspiracy Theory. So, in the middle of Aladdin's makeover, Angie Prince Ali, famous he, Ali Abawa, genie declares that his fez and vest combo is much to 3rd century. But on emerging from the, from the land, Genie has already announced that 10,000 years will be give you such a streak in the neck. Since Genie has been locked up in the land for all that time and would be in no position to observe current fashions, this would mean that Aladdin is dead in the year 10,300 at the earliest. In fact, since Genie is voiced by the ridiculously versatile Ren Williams, he, cannot, he can't help but impersonate a variety of 20th century personalities, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Groucho Marx, Ronnie Dangerfield, Jack Nicholson, to name a few, this would put the day back even er, later, meaning Aladdin takes place some time after the year 17, I mean, 11,970. This can be, then be used to rationalize many of the magical elements in Aladdin's world through, ironically, but not Genie himself. Carpet isn't just a magical carpet, is he's a remnant of hover technology that has been hidden in the Cave of Wonders, presumably to keep it safe from coming on a nuclear war that turned the world into a big... Empty desert. Sim, sim. Similarly, Iago isn't just another him, product Disney character. He's either the result of a society so obsessed with its pets that develop technology to understand their animals, even every thought. Why anyone would want these thoughts to expressed in the voice of G uh, Gilbert Godfrey is another question entirely. Or a mutation caused by nuclear fallout. Slightly more likely, assuming that as the daughter of Sulatan, Jasmine would also almost certainly get translated, get a translator to understand her beloved Tiger Raha. Woo! I read really fast. Okay, that's the end of my theory. Bye, guys! Please subscribe. More cartoon conspiracy.